MJ. Oh, hi, MJ. Just wanted to let you know you got a package here at the house. Okay. I got a package? I put it in the garage for you. Oh. It's from Norman Osborne. Oh. Oh. Interesting. Thanks for letting me know. Okay. I don't know what package Norman could be sending me, but sure. Guess let's go see. All right, let's see what Norman dropped off at the house. You know. No, nobody mind me. Just, just Spider-Man out here at this random house. I don't live here or anything. Um, nope, nope. Just Spider-Man at a random house. Harry What's would this? wanted you to have this. Lance and a thumb drive? Aww. They say you should never plug in a drive of unknown origin. Spoiler alert, but he hasn't uh, finished the game. Woman, I think. What is this? Peter! <laughs> I put this together for you because I knew when we got through this crazy time, Whenever we got through it, I wanted you to have these, and I wasn't positive I'd be here to give them to you myself. <sighs> Harry. After the Emily May Foundation was destroyed by Craven's hunters, I went to see what I could recover before it got boarded up. In the box, you'll find a piece of bark from my mom's tree, and one of May's blossoms. Oh, and the music! Gene spliced them together. You might get a hardy enough plant to produce seeds. Wow. Well, okay. Oh, That's so cute! That's not right. Hmm. <laughs> back up, back up, back up. So we need one sun. I just kind of smack things in there and hope that it's right. I'm not very technical. with these puzzles. So that one goes put there. Yeah, that works. Okay. And then this one goes here. Oop! We did it! Hmm. I knew you could do it, Pete. Aww, now, you, like you know those little bee it. drones we salvaged from the field studies? Yeah. We just leveraged their relocation data sets to plant those seeds around the city. You're some kind of genius, Harry Osborne. Let's get those bees working. I know, I know. It'll be years before we see the results. And who's to say where you and I will be a week from now, let alone years from now? Which is why I did this simulation to show you. So Emily and May will live on in the city, and of course, in us. So cute. I love you, Pete. I really do. I know the foundation didn't end up going the way I'd hoped, but there's still no one I'd rather have tried it with. I bet by the time you get this, we'll have already started a new foundation. Just me and you. Yeah. From scratch. Go us. Go us. Go us. Oh! One last thing. I... God bless My last suit! We're in good health. Okay. Why is it so ugly? No offense to Harry, is it? I'm It's very nice of you, Harry, but but I hate it. But that was so cute. 
<laughs> that got me a little teary eyed. Oh, it's it's hideous, Harry. But we love you. Oh, it's a comic design. Thanks, but no things. I assume all, all, all the suits are based on something. It it does kind of look like a space suit. I don't know. It just like. Ant-Man was my first thought, actually, was also my first thought, was Ant-Man. Like, I kind of wish it was without the helmet mechanism. I wish it was just, like, the base suit with the thing. I think it would look a lot better without that, but that was very cute. And they have the tree look, and now we can come back and look at this all the time. It is a space suit? Okay, that, that makes sense, then. This this looks like a Spider-Man space suit. <laughs> But that was very sweet. That was very cute. And look at us with the Emily May Foundation. Thank you, Harry. 